if you're suffering from the winter blues, you could do much worse than taking a trip to the Dorset coast. We've come here today to Lulworth Cove to explore the connections between personal well-being and planetary well-being. Yes, and Ross and Neil run an organic juice detox and yoga programme for humans to take part in. Something that Atal and I have in common is that we're both interested in environmental solutions. And I was pleased to hear that plant-based organic juices will be used on this retreat. Yes, and I'm all for living healthily and sustainably. And moving towards plant-based and organic food and drink is one of the practical solutions that the planet needs. Hello Neil, how are you today? Uh, very well, thank you, Aileen. Pleased, very pleased to meet you and have you with us today. Great, now well, I understand that you've had a drink earlier that was the same colour as me. Uh, yes, a little bit richer uh, green, but, but predominantly the same. Yeah, so I think if you cut me open, I'd look similar to you. Uh, we do focus on, on the green from the taking the sun's energy and chlorophyll, etc. But I'm sure you'll know all about that being probably closer to the sun than I am. Uh, well, I'll let you in on a little secret, uh, Neil. Um, I actually photosynthesize myself, so I, that's why I'm green. Well, you're quite a few steps ahead of us, so uh, yeah, we, we need to catch you up rapidly. Yeah, yeah, very good. Now, uh, listen, uh, Neil, I need to ask you a question. Um, why do humans juice their food? Why do they? Yeah, why yeah. do humans juice their food? Right, well, they don't do it regularly, or probably not regularly enough. But we would certainly advocate uh, a juice a day. To the, it, it helps the body, let's say, absorb the nutrients from the fruit much more easily and more efficiently. Instead of having to go through the whole digestive tract that we, ha we have, probably larger than yours, uh, when you juice, you can take those nutrients directly, almost directly into the blood supply. So it's very efficient. Now, um, in your juices, uh, why do you have organic juices? I mean, uh, what are the benefits of organic food and drink? Well, sadly, today, we are using an awful lot of pesticides and insecticides and fungicides and really? herbicides. Yes, we use a lot of chemicals in our agricultural um, environment. And when we choose organic foods, we're really reducing that chemical impact on our bodies. So I would always encourage everyone to go organic wherever possible. It's one, we have a far more denser nutrient, nutrient value in organic produce, and it also limits the amount of toxins and chemicals that we're exposed to. Well, I can really see why humans come to this type of retreat atoll. Yes, and a couple of times it went in a way I didn't expect. Yes, atoll, and uh, something that isn't always mentioned when humans talk about juicing is that the ingredients tend to be plant-based which encourages us humans to move towards a vegetarian diet. Yes, and with less land needed for cattle and cattle feed, that means less deforestation, which can only be a good thing in the battle against climate change and the loss of biodiversity. Yes, Atoll, and a, a common theme I've noticed is that what's good for your own health is often also good for your environment. Yes, and in the coming years, we're going to need to find a wide range of solutions to both our health challenges and our environmental challenges and juicing is a really good example of that. Yes, and uh, so I would recommend humans doing more things like we've seen on this retreat that make their connections between personal self-care and environmental self-care, between bodily health and planetary health. <laughs>